So there's a major update in Adobe Express and Adobe also implemented a text effect generator, which has a lot of special effects. Check these out. I tested all of them and I'm going to show you the ones that are great. So you don't need to research. And I also going to show you some personal prompts that are going to generate really cool text effects here. So first of all, let's go to Adobe Express beta. You scroll and you can find here the text effect category with all the effects. And you can see here, you can type in whatever text effect you want. So you're going to need to be creative with prompts or not. For example, if I type in glitch, press enter, and it's going to generate me really cool glitches. You also can double click on the font and switch up the text. I'm going to go with the usual. So here you can choose glitch effects that basically generate it, or you can click on load more and it's going to generate four more options. Now I'm going to type in something else, exotic leaves and check this out, it does an amazing job. Some of the letters won't look that good in this situation, the T and the E didn't work out well, but it seems like you need to keep on generating and finding the right options. Let me try out with pressed exotic leaves, it gets even better results. I also tried out with the philodendron leaf, it gives similar results, but specifically with this leaf. All right, let's go on. Graffiti letters, which uh, look a little bit incomplete, but there's like another prompt, which is wild style graffiti. You kind of have the same result. Now I got a really, really cool prompt that I discovered, and it is like pink candy cane. For this one, as you can see, we've got a thick, bold black letter type. So it's going to create these tubes two times, but we're going to change up the fonts to something thin. I gotta go with Source Sans. Nice. So on this one, it starts to work out pretty nice. It worked. <laughs> the funny thing is you also can do with animals. I try it out with Capybara. I don't know how this is pronounced, but you get the main idea. So look at this. It created letters made out of this animal. So it seems like with thinner letters, it works even better. If, I, if you change the font up to something bold, for example, Akum, it is going to have a hard time filling up those black fonts, which are like really, really thick. Crumbled paper is also nice. Black marble with gold pattern background. It works really nice on regular font. I gotta go with the natural soft purple fur. Change up the font. Source sense. <laughs> Damn, this looks good. Next, we got pressed flowers and they looking beautiful. Next, we got crystal prism. I didn't even test out with uh, thinner fonts like these, but it looks amazing. I think this is the best. Yeah, look at it. Next, we're gonna go with a really nice one. We got colorful watercolor stroke. This one worked really nice with black fonts. There you go, it actually works really good. Then you got shiny marble, peacock feather, moss, gas stain, and yeah, the list goes on. Thanks for watching.